What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today I'm going to be attempting to take out the OP8 Ancient Dragons of Destruction using the Hawkeye. The Hawkeye is a Seraph sniper rifle made by Jacobs from the third DLC. In Ultimate Vault Hunter mode it only drops from Veracitus, so I went with one round of pre-stacking Critical Ascension and I got a critical to maintain my stacks there against Helian, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Hawkeye. Now I got quite a few requests for me to use the Hawkeye, and I have to tell you guys, I do not really like the Hawkeye for a Sniper Zero. The way the Hawkeye works is it has a really low base damage compared to other Sniper Rifles, and it makes up, or tries to make up for this rather, by having a large critical hit modifier. Now the Hawkeye is a great Sniper Rifle for Maya, or a Sniper Maya type build with Reaper and the Bee. However, for Zero, it does not pair well with Critical Ascension. Critical Ascension works better with sniper rifles that have a large base damage and that's because each stack of Critical Ascension adds critical hit damage as well as sniper rifle gun damage and the fact that the Hawkeye is already going to have um, such a high, over 500% critical hit damage, you get some diminishing returns on the Hawkeye as compared to other sniper rifles because it does have that low base damage. Now, that's not to say it's a bad sniper rifle, but it's not a good sniper rifle to be using with zero. Also, the Hawkeye is completely worthless on body shots, which isn't always a big deal, but does matter when you're in fight for your life, which is why I switched to the longbow here. The large base damage is also why the longbow does so well with Critical Ascension. Quite the opposite of how the Hawkeye does, in fact. Brood did the scumbag Brood thing and landed and then took off on us and that's why we weren't able to get slag on it that first time and why, why it spent so little time on the stage. But that's not a big deal because Brood does spit out the baby dragons for us to get a second wind off of. Now we need to go ahead and bring Boost down. Once she lands we'll get Kunai on that and begin pumping the Hawkeye into it. Now the Hawkeye does have a respectable fire rate at over 3 with the Jacob's Grip and Damage Accessory, which makes it at least usable for this type of context. However, as you can see, the low damage I'm getting there, um, 70 million with almost 200 stacks, that's not good. It should be definitely doing a lot more damage than that. I have a video where I compare some sniper rifle damages at around 100 stacks, and I'll try to leave the link to that video in the description and you can kind of see where a regular purple Jacob sniper rifle will out damage the Hawkeye at high stack counts. This can also be seen obviously uh, when in my Diube video where the Diube did very well against the dragons and the Hawkeye does relatively poorly. I'm actually not able to kill Incinerator in one landing here due to two things. One, me being terrible at aiming in this particular situation and two, the Hawkeye just being rather lackluster for this particular application. Now, if you do like the Hawkeye with zero, that's fine. It does pair very well with the B and low stat counts, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of using the B for my sniper zero, except in situation, or certain situations. But, you know, I, in my estimation, there are plenty of better sniper rifles that zero could be using. And I don't really recommend the Hawkeye for anybody using a Sniper Rifle Zero. I definitely recommend learning the Pimpernel instead. It will serve you a lot better in the long run. The Hawkeye is very limited in its use, and because of that, I'm not a big fan of it. Also, it's one of the hardest weapons to acquire in the game, since only Veracitus drops it. But, you know, despite its drawbacks, we were able to kill Incinerator there and finish off the fight. If you guys haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that, guys. I'll be sure to show you my gear and skill build here in just a second after I celebrate in the massive loot explosion. And look for an orange for a little bit. Always check for the oranges. The grinder is always hungry. Again, guys, um, I do thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.